Ngosaza Nanjaba has become the third member of the Njaba family to be killed in just over a year. The incident took place at her rented home over the weekend. The Njaba family says they have become targets following the brutal murders of two family members. After no arrest had been made, the deceased confronted the suspects. The family says police dragged their feet while the suspects were known. When there was no action taken against the suspect, my sister confronted him. He went to the police station. The police went to my sister and told her if anything happens to him, she will be the number one suspect. My younger brother also left his home because there are people who want to kill him. The attack last year took place at the Njaba family home at Nganglashe village. Jabba's then eight-year-old son survived three gunshot wounds, while her uncle and brother died. The family says the police have ignored a witness to the latest murder. There was a witness to my sister's murder. I asked the detective why they haven't made any arrests. He says the witness cannot be trusted because he says he saw three people when there was one shooter. I know nothing will happen. We are not safe. I know they will come for me. Everyone here is awaiting their turn. Police say the investigations into the murders are still ongoing. The SAPS confirms the incident where the 34-year-old uh, was shot dead by two unidentified suspects uh, in that area of uh, Willow Vale. Cases of murder and attempted murder are currently under investigation, and that includes those that were opened in January. No arrest has been made at this stage. We therefore request the assistance of the community to please come forward uh, with information so that those responsible uh, can be brought to justice. The family has called for assistance and counseling for the remaining family members. Lwandi Lembulali, Willow Vale, in the Eastern Cape.